Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, Mother's Day is soon approaching. And as we, our nation, takes time to honor our mothers, I would like to make a special appeal to African American mothers across this country that they begin to use their awesome powers to take back our streets from the daily violence that far too many of our youth, far too many of our families, and far too many of our communities are experiencing each and every day. It is now time, time right now, for black mothers to once again rise up to stop the unmitigated and endless violence that are occurring often, far too often, in our nation's streets. Madam Speaker, there is no power like the power of a mother. Beside me today is an image that many across the nation have seen, and it's the subject of conversation all across our country. The image of a strong black mother giving her son what I would call a love whooping, a love whooping, Madam Speaker, to snatch him back from the grips of senseless violence that is currently plaguing the city of Baltimore, Maryland. As this picture demonstrates, Madam Speaker, mothers can and mothers must be the mobilizing force to take back our streets. Mothers feel the pain of a loss of a child unlike any other. The primal scream of a mother, of a mother and the sudden death and departure of her child is unlike any other outcry known to mankind. As my own history has demonstrated, I am not one to excuse police brutality and police murder and police mayhem and police utter disrespect for the citizens that they are pledged and sworn to serve and to protect. And as a former member of the Black Panther Party, we in the party have always said, and I quote, that spontaneity is the art of the foolish, end of quote. What the Baltimore rioters and other rioters across this nation fail to understand, particularly those who are in Baltimore, what they fail to understand, what they fail to consider, is how many people in that neighborhood were dependent on the CVS drugstore, or how many older neighbors of those same young people were looking forward to the day that they could call that burn down senior, senior citizen home a home for themselves. They were looking forward to it being completed. When is the move-in date? They were looking forward to the comfort of that senior home. Simply put, Madam Speaker, senseless destruction of your own neighborhood 
is not protesting. It's pillaging. It's not political. It's pillaging. Nothing more, nothing less. It's pillaging your own neighborhood. That is unintelligent. That makes no sense. That's eating the wrapper and throwing the candy bar away. It makes no sense to pillage your own neighborhood and deny your own people. Beyond Baltimore, Madam Speaker. Yes, and there is a beyond Baltimore. Beyond Baltimore, we must look at the whole picture of violence in our nation. The violence that has plagued Baltimore didn't come out of nowhere. It wasn't just a spark out of nowhere. Instead, Madam Speaker, it was sparked by the frustration that so many um, African Americans feel with the reports of the death of a yet another young African American man at the hand of our nation's police. It was sparked by the flame of frustration that far too many of our nation youth are facing each and every day of their lives. Unemployment, disrespect, broken down homes, broken down communities, failed education systems, all these frustrations, frustration that denies them a sense that there is a future for them, for them in this nation. These frustrations inflame all the fires in Baltimore or in other places across this nation. That said, Madam Speaker, for my friend Fred Hampton, my friend Mark Clark in 1969, to Michael Brown and Eric Garner and Tamir Rice and now Freddie Gray in 2015, we have seen far too many young men of color fall victim to the very same people who were sworn to serve and protect. This mother is demonstrating the power of a mother's love, the power of a mother's courage. She walked into harm's way, straightforward, directly to, located her son, and she's demonstrating the power that is beyond imagination and beyond all selflessness. To honor her and the important role that all mothers, mamas, our mothers, including my own mother, to honor them and to honor all the role that they play, the important role that they play in taking back our streets and ending the violence that plagues our communities all across this nation, I humbly call on America's mothers, those in the African-American community and outside of the African-American community, those in urban areas and those in rural areas, all American mothers, to wear yellow, to wear yellow, to wear yellow on Mother's Day in a symbolic show of solidarity and to create a Mothers in Yellow movement to end the violence that plagues this nation's cities, this nation's communities, this nation's neighborhood. Mothers, rise up now. Use this as an occasion to take back the streets. Your pain, the pain that you feel, your sense of loss of hope 
for your child, your sense of, of finality in terms of a future of your child, that pain must stop, and you have the power to stop it. Madam Speaker, I thank you, and I yield back the balance of my time.